Well, hello there. My name is Vladimir and today I'm answering a question I get a lot. And the question is, how do I get my drum sounds in the kind of demo songs I do for gear and comparisons and such? And in few seconds, minutes, something like that, I will demonstrate to you how I go from drums that sound like this. to drums that sound like this. So, as you can hear, there's a huge difference in the presence of the drums, the punchiness of the drums, all of that. And let's break down the simple trick I do. I have a MIDI track here, which I kind of took from Easy Drummer 2, which I use. Looks like this. And one of the cool things the Easy Drummer 2 does, it has kind of pre-recorded songs, I guess, over here. And many times when I'm writing a gear demo song, I have an idea, maybe on a guitar, I'll play a little bit of it and record it. And then I'll go here and browse if there's something I like. Well, yeah, looks like I might have used something like this. And the cool thing is like in this kind of song builder you have in the Easy Drummer 2, you can take the drum loop or the MIDI information and you can actually drag it over here so it becomes MIDI. Like this. Here's the track we can see here. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't really need it. But it was just for the demonstrational purposes. And what I usually do then is I go here and edit the MIDI track if I feel I there's like the fills aren't what I want them to be, or the bass drum pattern isn't exactly what I want, and so on. And it ends up looking like this. But yeah, the sound sound wise, uh, I usually just pick a preset that's closest to what I'm going for. In this case, I think I swapped some of the cymbals, maybe the snare as well, I'm not 100% sure. But basically, I'm using the modern vintage preset, uh, and I might have adjusted some of the faders over here, uh, dialed in the amount of compression and ambience and reverb I want, and that's it. And soloed without anything else, the drums sound like this. So, pretty good. I think Easy Drummer 2 sounds pretty good. Uh, I'd say good enough for the gear demo purposes and just demo purposes in general. And for us who work from home, it's amazing that you can get as good kind of drum sounds as these. For not a lot of money, definitely check out this software if you're looking for something affordable and fun to use. The only real trick I use here is called parallel compression. And for guys who have mixed drums, this is basic stuff for you. But for many of you, it might be something new and I'll try to take you through it. So what's here's my drum track basically. Uh, the Easy Drummer just comes out as a stereo track. You can adjust it in a way that each of your kind of symbols and toms and everything would be a separate tra track and you can ju adjust them individually. But it takes a lot of time, in my case at least, and I'm not sure the result is any better. So I'm do doing it this way. And what I'm doing from here is I have a bus send going to this track. And if you don't know what bus send is, basically I'm taking a copy of this drum track and the drums playing and I'm sending it them over here. So the original drums kind of go from here to the master fader 
And on their way there, they are also being kind of copied and sent over here. And what's happening on this track is I have a compressor over here and that's it. And the compressor I'm using is the TDR Kotelnikov. I don't know, maybe it's a Russian compressor. It certainly sounds like that. Uh, it's an awesome free compressor that I use a lot for the drum bus and mastering as well. I usually have it on my master bus. Yeah, there it is. And it's a, it's a great compressor. It has awesome presets that will get you started. And right now on this track, I'm using something called Drum Bus Deep Control. Let's see what's happening. Unmute the track. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of compression happening and with a fairly big ratio as well. It kind of controls the or kind of smashes the low end a little bit. So it's more punchy. And the great thing about the parallel compression is that now that I've routed it this way, I can blend in this with the original drum track and this allows you to kind of dial in as much of that punch as you need because you can go overboard and then your drums end up sound thin. Let me demonstrate. So no compression at all at the parallel track. And I'll start to blend it in. So as you can hear, not only it starts clipping over here, but also the symbols become kind of muffled and uh, distorted already. And that's not what we want. We want our drums to be clear, but punchy. And yeah, it's a really simple trick. The This uh, compressor comes with a bunch of cool presets. One that I also like to use a lot is the Smasher preset which kind of smashes the whole drum, drum track even more. And it's especially cool with the drums where you don't want to have like too much punch, but you want that high end to kind of come out so the drums stand out from the track. Because as I demonstrated in the beginning, this is the difference you're getting. Without compressor... <laughs> So basically without the parallel compression, the drums kind of get lost and that's pretty much what I do. Obviously depending on the song, I use a different preset in the Easy Drummer, I use a different preset in the parallel compression. Sometimes I might do some other tricks, but for most of the tracks I've done, this has been the setup. It's good enough. <laughs> There's a certain, such a thing as good enough. and. I've been extremely happy with this setup. It sounds good, it's easy to use. And yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully this answers some of your questions. If you have anything else drum related, leave a comment down below. There should be a subscribe button somewhere over here as there should be also more of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.